How are we all doing guys? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the beautiful Telpo. It's a very, well not, I wouldn't say extremely cold day down here. I think it's about 10 degrees. Um, but uh, definitely winter is here down in Telpo. We're down here actually doing a couple of presentations, a couple of business presentations. And I thought, hey look, I'm, I've been doing a few of these videos. I, I might as well get on whilst I've got a bit of spare time and just um, share a bit of a concept with you guys, which is um, a bit of a bucket bucket concept in the way of finances and, and how to, um, the, the reason why people are struggling financially is the, is how they're managing their money or how they're earning their money right now. Um, carrying on from the previous video I've done uh, just recently, um, I think this will be, you know, hopefully this will add value to someone. I do these videos not to, to make money, I do these videos to add value to people's lives in some way or form. Um, and that's, and also the, the other reason why I love doing these videos is to, um, also grow myself in the way of presenting in front of other people and that's what I really love about putting myself out there in the, in the, in the, in the social media, putting myself out there public speaking and doing this stuff is it grows yourself and it pushes yourself to go to the next level. So as I, as I said, my name's Cameron Stewart, I'm 32 years old, um, I'm a property investor um, and developer, I also uh, have a network marketing business. Um, and I'm passionate about helping others and that's why I started the social media stuff was to, to add value to other people's lives and, and really um, help them maybe get some strategies or some ideas on how to move forward with their life. So what I'm going to cover off here is um, what we call a, a bucket strategy. I'm going to number the buckets and hopefully you can see um, I've got uh, my cameraman over there, Mr. Brad Gould, on the camera behind you there. So what I'm going to go through here is I'm going to use this bucket strategy to explain um, you know what, where people's money is going, and, and why they're not progressing uh, in today's world. So number one here, this is the first bucket. Now, mind my drawing, I'm not an artist. This is my beautiful bucket, okay, my little red bucket. Now, this first bucket here is where your primary income goes. So that's where your income from your job or your business goes right now into this first into this bucket here. Now, <clears throat> what happens in this 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 bucket here is where your income goes in there. You've got a whole lot of expenses. So you've got tax, you've got food, you've got fuel, you've got phone, clothing. mortgage or rent. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I say this, what happens is in today's world is this is the, the real problem that we're having in today's society is people have this bucket there, so this bucket could be their bank account where their, their pay or their income goes into, and what happens is all of these, the bucket gets holes in it, and those holes are your tax, your food, your fuel, your phone, your clothing your mortgage, your rent. So that's money that's gonna keep going out of your account for the rest of your life. And what I'm seeing today, and this is not just me seeing, this is, it's a bit of an epidemic really, is people are living outside of their means. So what's happening is, they're getting this money here from their job or business, it's coming in here like this, and it's going out there like that, and then they've left over at zero at the end of the month. What happens is, and people are spending money on things they don't need, like, you know, Sky TV, you know, a whole lot of other expenses, you know, uh, I'm not even including credit card debt and all the rest of it, I'll get onto that in a minute. But what's important to see here is people's expenses are actually more than what they're earning in today's society. For the, for the, for the average joke, for the, for the middle class person today, with house price increases and all the rest of it, people don't have anything left over at the end of the month, pretty much. You know, so what I want to talk about here is first of all, what can you do to increase this income here? See, because the more more times you increase this income, it will plug some of those holes up in that bucket. So your income will then over um, it will be more than what your expenses are, and that's what you want. But that's where most people are. Most people are not in that situation, and it's, it's really, really sad because most people are struggling week to week, year to year, month to month, whatever, 
and they're not gaining any traction in life. And that's because of this. They've got all of these expenses going out of that first bucket and they've got nothing coming, uh, they've got no additional income coming in. Now, what I want to talk to you about here too is, is bucket number two. Now, bucket number two, get my drawing better. Bucket number two here is what we go on to. This might be um, when, you, when you fill this bucket here up with more money from a primary income, I'll go back to that in a minute. This is for investments, you know, other businesses, etc. So what happens with this here, this increases our income by when we get an overflow effect from here, once we fill this bucket up, it overflows into here. We now get some more investments, property, whatever. We start to get a compounding effect. We start to uh, see a, an exponential factor or a compounding effect with our dollar, and that increases our income here. Now, once we're making enough money out of that, then we go over into this bucket here. Now, this is bucket three. Now, this is your rewards. And, um, oh, like cars, boats, travel, all of that sort of fun stuff. But what happens in today's world, and I'll tell you this is what people were doing, and this is why this bucket is draining at the front. They go directly from here, in their job, where they're not, where they're living from week to week, pay to pay, they get a credit card, and they go from here to here. So what they do is they get they, they go for instant gratification. They go and they um, get a credit card, or they get a higher purchase item for a TV, or whatever the case may be, and they use credit to go and buy this, these rewards that they actually, actually they actually haven't worked for. So what they're doing, and this is a this is a major major problem in society today. What we need to be doing, guys, is we need to be stop wasting our money on this crap. We get this stuff once we've actually worked for it. We don't go and tick up and borrow money to to get rewards, or you know this could be travel, you know cars, etc. The biggest issue we have in the world today is this is, a, this is the problem. People are earning an income here and they're spending it before they've actually sorted this out. So what I mean by that is what we need to be sorting out, ladies and gentlemen, is we need to be sorting out this primary income circle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different colour. So as far as options are concerned, what are we going to do to fill this bucket? What are we going to do to plug some of these holes? Because see... I can tell you, probably 85% of the people that watch this video would be, week, uh, would be probably living week to week, month to month, year to year, and I, if a major event happens in their life, it would put them way behind, and this here, all of these drain pipes or all these holes in that bucket would just get bigger and bigger, and they'll just be forever chasing their tail trying to fill that up, that's a, that's a terrible pen, hopefully this one works. So what we want to do is, what you want to be focusing on is, you need to wipe this out. You don't want to be borrowing money or getting bad debt to go and buy these rewards and stuff before, you, before you've earned them. What you need to be doing is you need to be working on your primary bucket. You need to be focusing on making sure that all your bills are paid, everything in your house is paid for, and then you start to get a surplus. So once you get the surplus in here, it starts to go, these pens are all bloody terrible, aren't they? So once you've got a surplus here, you can then go over into here to the investment, and that's when it gets excited, and, and that's when you start to get that, you know, the compounding effect, you start to get the money working for you. You're not start, you start not having to rely on your time so much once you get into this stage here. But first and foremost, this video is just really a basic teaching for People will understand, you need to sort after, you know, look after your primary bucket. You need to make sure that all of your expenses are paid for. You're not overspending. You're not going over to number three here before you're ready for it. Because I tell you right now, if you're in your in your in your early twenties or even thirties, whatever, the age is actually no barrier. And you're spending your money here on this stuff before you have any assets of any or any other stuff behind you you're going to be in a world of strife later on in life. So it is so important that you invest your money properly and you manage what you're doing here from a cash flow perspective. So right now, if you're struggling from week to week, pay to pay, 
you need to maybe cut out the Sky TV. You need to maybe stop going out for coffees, stop going out for dinners, and just minimise some of those things right now until you start to get this bucket full. Until this bucket starts to overflow, overflow, overflow into this stage here when you can start to make more, more money from your investments or other businesses, whatever the case may be. Because what happens is, with this, with this bucket here, as you build this up, this doesn't happen in five minutes, by the way, guys. This takes a bit of time. But as you, as you um, start you know, putting money into this here, into other investments or other businesses, your cash flow will exponentially grow like this over time. Now, by the way, it doesn't happen in five minutes. People think that they're going to get into property investment, for example, and they think they're going to go and you know, uh, have a $10 million portfolio in two years and all this sort of stuff. It, it ain't going to happen. Unless you go and do a huge development and you actually you hit it right, you don't have any issues, you'll get there. But what happens is fill this bucket up here first. Get all your bills, all of that stuff paid for. Now, if you're in a job or you're in a business right now and your cash flow is terrible, what are the options that you have? There's options that you can do. There's part-time businesses. There's, you know, you... you you, you might be able to take on another part-time job. You know, what else can you do? You know, you, you could take on a part-time business. I think that's far better than a part-time job. But what else can you do to fill this here with cash flow? Right now, if, you're, if your time is limited. Because most people probably work 8 to 10 hours a day. So what can you do outside of that to help you fill this bucket here? and get rid of all of this stuff here. Plug those holes in that bucket, start to get it overflowing, so then you can invest in some property, maybe invest in a commercial building, maybe invest in the share market, maybe invest in another business, because until you sort this number one bucket here out, there's no way that you're ever gonna be able to move on to this stage, and there's no way that you're ever gonna be able to go on here and live a life of abundance, a life of where you can actually get the rewards, you can travel, you can um, you know, there's so many things you can do, but you've got to manage this stuff. This is why I do it. I don't make money out of doing videos online. I do this to help people. If this can help you understand, if you don't sort out this bucket here, and you keep going and buying this stuff here before you can afford it, your life later on is going to be, won't be good. Because the government's going to change things. Superannuation or KiwiSaver just doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut it. You look at the fees that you're paying in your KiwiSaver right now, go and have a look at the costs that come out of that and do a projection about what, how much money is going to be in that KiwiSaver when you retire. It ain't going to be enough. So what we need to be doing, we need to be focusing on increasing our income here. Now obviously, there's plenty of ways that you can do that in today's world. And if you want to understand or find out a way to maybe increase your income to go into this primary bucket, Send me a personal message, ask a question, because I can tell you, so many people out there are hurting, so many people are living from week to week, pay to pay, year to year, and they're wondering, and they're frustrated. No wonder depression's high, no wonder anxiety's high, because people are frustrated. But the problem is I see, the biggest thing I see right now, people are frustrated because they don't understand why, why would I want to go and you know, increase my income circle here, because they... You know, they go, well, I've already got a nice ute, but they've got it up on higher purchase. That is not a, that's a, a depreciating asset. So people go and buy a nice car, they go and buy, you know, a, a boat, whatever, and they tick it up. Well, that's just, that's all right, that gives you a nice little feeling for that short period of time. But, but then you, the realisation is later on when you have a couple of sprogs, a couple of kids, and you, you, you know, all of a sudden you go from two incomes to one, you've still got that high personal debt, you've still got all these expenses, what happens? Your lifestyle goes down. People start to go, well, what's next? What can I do? So I understand you need to get on top of this right now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that has helped. You know, as I say, I'm not, a, an, I'm not an accountant. This is just basic, basic stuff. And I believe it can add value to you who are watching this in the, on, on social media. And I hope it adds value to, value to you in some way. Um, I'm not a, a, a born public speaker by any stretch of the imagination. But I do love... Um, yeah, you know, the struggle of pushing through and, and doing this stuff, and I hope that it can add some value to your life. So thanks for listening in. I'm Cameron Stewart, and as I always say, I like, you know, my, my sort of saying is, you know, creating change and defining purpose, because when you define your purpose, 
you'll create change and you'll go and get the results that you want in life and then you can go and live a life of abundance here, travel, uh, cars, boats, whatever the case may be. So have a cracker of a day. We'll see you next time.